What's up everyone, Dartblade here with a bit of a news video for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now by the time this video goes up, the new expansion, Blood and Wine, should be available to download. This expansion is massive with up to 20 hours of gameplay and a unique area separate from the existing ones in the main Witcher 3 game. Said to be Geralt's last great monster contract, Blood and Wine will surely give us more entertaining adventures. Now I will cover Blood and Wine in a bit more of a review format later, but alongside Blood and Wine comes patch 1.20. A fairly large patch, it aims to introduce a number of general stability and performance improvements, as well as fix a dozen of quest related items. This is both for major and minor quests. Now like previous Witcher 3 patches, this is rather lengthy, so I'll go over some of the highlights that come with this patch. The first is a book titled A Miraculous Guide to Gwent. This is a very useful book as it displays the number of Gwent cards missing from a player's base game collection. A lot easier because this used to be one of the more frustrating achievements in the game. It also provides information on where to find the missing cards. However, you can still miss cards if you progress through the story and miss certain opportunities to play Gwent with certain characters. A miraculous guide to Gwent can be obtained from either the Gwent playing scholar in the prologue or from the merchant near St. Gregory's Bridge, which is in Novigrad. Another big improvement that will make some players happy, especially players who feel like they need a little bit more challenge out of the combat. Basically, they've added the option to enable enemy levels to upscale. This means that if they're a lower level than you, they should be upscaled to approximately your level, making for tougher combat challenges. They've also added a disable automatic drawing and sheathing of Geralt's swords. For those of you who like to roleplay, this is a good option. Both of these are found actually in the options, they're little toggle menus you just turn on and off as you see fit. On top of this, there have been a ton of visual, gameplay and changes to Heart of Stone which is the first expansion in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Saga. And on top of this, patch 1.20 also paves the way for the final expansion, Blood and Wine. Anyway, if you're at all interested, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can go check out the full patch notes in detail if you wish. So there we have it, a quick video regarding patch 1.20. What do you think of the patch? And more importantly, are you going to be getting Blood and Wine, the final expansion? Because I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Dartblade, bringing you a quick patch information video regarding patch 1.20 on the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Hope you enjoyed the little video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.